Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Anti-Chamber. It's been a while since I've recorded this, and I haven't even uploaded the first part yet. So, alright, last thing we did was we got the yellow gun, which means I can actually beat the game now. Some people might say that's impossible, but it's possible. So, let's see if we can find it. Jump too far. Alright. This is where we need to be. Right now we have the yellow gun. We need to kind of walk around here. And we need to... Okay, this is the area where we went to, uh, get the, uh... Okay. So, if we take... So the trick here is I need to get a few cubes. I need at least um, enough to make a, uh, as many as I need. So that might be enough. All right. Next thing we need to do is okay. There's the walk area. area. Okay, we don't need any of that. Now, one of these transitions... Okay, I remember. There's a transition from here that supposedly will lead me to where I need to be. Unfortunately... Actually, I can shoot through this, can't I? Oh, actually, I can just get as many as I need from here. Takes a bit of takes a bit of work though, because I'm awful at controlling my mouse apparently. There we go. That should be enough. All right, this is exactly. Or it should have been. Okay, there's that area. Let's get out of here. Ah, there we go. So now we have cubes, and now we can get back to this area. Now the thing is, you can't shoot blocks through this. You also can't manipulate any of the blocks, even with the yellow ability. The moment we go through that that barrier there, I'm gonna lose all my cubes anyway. So now, if there's actually one other final color you can get, and it makes this little wall here easy to bypass, but without that, you kind of have to work a little bit harder. Now, what you can do is do something like this. And remember, the ability of the uh, yellow is I can move blocks, essentially, unless I screw up and destroy all my blocks. This again. This is more than enough cues. I'm just getting paranoid here. Like I said, if you have the final gun, no worries here. So 
So once you make contact, if you move a, a, a bunch of cubes next to another set of cubes, that becomes one body of cubes that's constantly moving. So if you move it like that, you can force these red blocks to smash against this, and you'll be set to go. Um, if you have the final gun, you don't really need to worry about things like that. Alright, let's, um, let's keep doing this. That's enough. Hey, actually, I can go through with my cubes. I think that's a bug, because you're not supposed to be able to do that. But that's okay. Um, I'll take it, I guess. Yeah, because this barrier is supposed to uh, take away your cubes. Anyway, some problems can't be solved until you're more experienced. Ah, there we go. This will take away my cubes. Now, if we go over here, we move on when there's nothing left to learn. supposed to go. Yeah, if you go over this way, it's a dead end. Yeah, you can see it's now going the other way. You're trying to chase after this black cube and it's showing the, the route you're supposed to take. Now if you do... Th th Whoa, that was kind of weird. So, we gotta get across here now. Now we're here. Now we got a bunch of little portals to go through. This is pretty easy. Um, oops, there we go. All you had to do, um, the one you came out of uh, when you looked in there was the black one. So you just do the opposite, for, go to the white. If you do any of the other colors, it's just gonna send you on loops in that room. Anyway, let's keep going. This actually kind of messed me up, because I didn't know um, if you look at the circle and back aw back th uh, back away, you can go through win you can go through uh, windows. This is something new. You guys haven't seen this yet. There, it is in the actual. There is actually one room, or two rooms that use this thing, as far as I know. And it pretty much propels you. You have no control of your physics. It just launches you. Nothing you can do about it. All right, and there's the black block. Let's keep going after it. Can't do anything here until we drop down here. Yeah, this is gonna be. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, you can't do anything here. Cause if you jump, you're gonna. Oh, actually, you can. Okay. Let's keep on going up then. Now the trick is, here is you need to figure out where to go, what uh, bridges lead where. Now the biggest issue here is you can't, you can't jump this, and if you try jumping, you will act, you'll break the bridge. So you gotta go around this way. I thought you did. Oh great, there goes my platform. Yeah, so what you gotta do is kinda feel your way around and see if you can find a new route you can take. this route. Oh wait. Oh, 
I remember how this is how this works. Let's see, you gotta. What happens is the balls hit the the destructible area and it destroys itself. But as it destroys itself, it destroys this little lip here. So what you gotta do is you loot you use the walking platform here, or the running platform rather, and uh, so you can have some place to stand while the rest of it gets destroyed, and then you, then you just jump on through. Complicated problems are easier when solved one step at a time. Speaking of complicated problems, can't do anything there, there's glass in the way. So at this point, we can't do anything because we have no cubes. Our goal is right there. Can't do anything here. As you can probably guess, we need cubes, but we don't have cubes. And all I have to say is, as you make progress with this, don't ever hit escape. If you hit escape, you're going to have to redo everything. Because the checkpoint for this is literally at the um, point where the music starts. What happened in this thing? I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, I remember what this is. Okay. So, yeah, there's a portal here. Little block thing there. Gotta jump down here. And, uh, keep on going. Now, this room is a lot, lot easier if you have the final gun. If you don't, you're going to have to do some weird tricks. Um, very weird tricks. I don't even know how... I can't really tell you how exactly I do them, but I'm going to try to do it, and uh, you'll see the madness. Yeah, and you can jump down here. All right. So your way down is by jumping through that. Um, or so I thought. missing something, aren't I? Oh, wait, I think I know what I need to do. No, I don't. I gotta get to there, but why can't I... Oh, that's weird. Like, it only triggered one before. Whatever. We can appreciate the entire journey by looking back at how far we have come. Ah. So this thing here... Infinite amount of cubes. Pretty handy. And what's neat about having infinite cubes is you can actually take it with you. So what I've got to do here, I believe. I'm trying to remember. Okay, what we have to do here is make it so all the um, the red blocks. Right now, all the red blocks are on top of little laser beams that um, are you have to have, um, that are keeping this shut. So what we have to do is get them all off the laser beams. I know, it sounds kind of weird. But it's actually not that difficult to pull off. Well, actually, I speed that up. Let's fix that. There we go. Now, if you have the, um, the final gun, this is all trivial.
Hopefully the sound isn't too bad. Alright, and uh... All I have to do is make sure they all get connected. And then what you can do here is use the yellow gun. Oops. Screw that up. There we go. By the way, all these bread blocks. I'll just take them with me. Okay, so we got that with us. Um, next thing we need to do is do the same thing. <laughs> now, right now we only have one in, uh, place where we can actually put cubes in. The rest of these are just little windows so you can actually manipulate. So something like that. So yeah, um, if you know the tricks of how to attach things and pull them out, kind of like fishing I guess, um, you can uh, definitely work with this. There we go. Uh, it's getting there. Let's, there we go. Now I can just do it directly. There we go. And... Uh, You actually don't need that many cubes to do this. You just need enough to attach everything. God, it's an annoying sound. Alright, and now what we gotta do from here... Is just... Oh, that's all I needed to do. I could yank it all the way out, but I'm not going to bother. And just because I can... Oops, that screwed up. And just in case I ever need to backtrack, I can always put that there. Though I don't think I'll... There's, I don't think there's any reason to backtrack at this point. We're back here. All the doors are open. And uh, what we can do... Let's drag everything over here. This is useful so because it allow me... It essentially gives me infinite cubes to uh, work with without having to worry so much about it. And a little trick you can do with the elevator. this, I can get back. Now, this is the tough room. This is the tough part. We've What we've done so far, the easy stuff. Next is the hard stuff. Holy cow, I have a lot of this, don't I? Oh well, we'll I'll make use of it. Uh, okay, there's the end. This 
might crash, but I'll, I'll attempt it. And then you can go right up here. Actually, if I can go straight up like this. And across. It's a little tough to do it if you have a lot of cubes nearby. Ah! I can just keep going here. A little annoying. It'll kind of fix itself in a second. infinite amount of cubes. <laughs> nah, I probably shouldn't mess with that too much, because I could very well crash it. Okay, now what we need to do, if we jump through these barriers, the inside of this is hollow. You can actually um, do stuff with the cubes in there. But the barriers here prevent you from touching if any cubes touch it, they get destroyed. The same thing for this, the walls of this little tunnel here. So if you look here, yeah. So I can't do anything. So what I gotta do... is... something a little crazy. Something like that. One part is getting it lined up. Because what you gotta do is do some little bit of madness. So what I did is I blocked it. I blocked the way in. Now what I can do here, since I can actually take cubes, thankfully, I can take these cubes. It's a little difficult to use here. to do is we need to get enough cubes down that end to uh, work with because of course there's a barrier there too so and just in case I don't like I usually put up in the ceiling but it's not exactly it's a little awkward to use, to use the ceiling like this is once we get past this part, the rest of it's easy. You get nothing to worry about after this point. Alright, I'm just kind of 
tracing to get as much length as possible. There we go. And what you gotta do here is do something like that. Okay. Then you can trace it a little bit further. This is the part where it gets a little crazy because what happens is I'm trying to trace it, you know, but this wall here makes it disconnect. So it's a little difficult to uh, get it right. need to fill in, I originally thought you were supposed to fill in everything here, you don't need to, you just need to get enough stuff across, there you go, like that, and then, yeah, if you mess with the window enough, you can kind of navigate it, there we go, and we got it, so yeah, I'm still tracing from the end. you have the final gun this is trivial you don't need you don't need to do this stuff i won't explain what the final gun does quite yet but you'll know soon enough all right so what you can do here Because the reason why is there's a barrier here, and what you gotta do here is fill in those box, uh, blocks. Alright, that's enough to work with. Then you can step through. And now you have something to work with. Of course, you can just keep doing it. 
Uh, unfortunately, um, do the f the reason there's a door on each side is to prevent you from just attaching this to that and then just ki and pulling it through. You can't fish it through, so you have to just take them like this. off here and we will finish this game next time. So I'm Theta Press Dior and this was um, Antichamber. See you guys later.